Hi all, hope you are doing good. So in this tutorial, we will install the Portena. And I will show you the demo that how the port Portena is very easy to manage the container. And uh, you can see the container's locks and restart uh, the container. You can kill the container. You can add the new container just by using the Portena UI. It's very uh, pretty easy. And uh, thing is like that, you no need to remember the Docker CLI commands. And uh, in this demo, I will cover that uh, Tomcat installation and then Nginx installation. After that, I will install the Portena. And uh, we will open the UI and we will uh, see that how we can manage the container. Everything we will do in the EC2 instances. So I have already created uh, one EC2 instance. The name is Portena Demo2. So here you can see that it is associated with that uh, security group, Demo2. And currently, 22 port is open. So I have already logged in into that uh, EC2 instance. I'm proceeding further to install Docker first. It will take few seconds. So here we are done with the Docker installation. I will just start the services. Now I am proceeding further to install the nginx. So I think it's like that uh, I will use the docker run command and uh, I will use the port 8080 and uh, then I will detach it so that it will run in the background nginx. So locally image is not available it will pull it it will start it so here you can see that container is running in the port number 80 so we can access I will just go ahead with the IP address so I will just take 26 381 167 so let me check if I am already having yes so nginx is running pretty well and uh, now I will install the Apache Tomcat. So already I have a command. So I will just use uh, Apache Tomcat. So I am copying this one. I will take the version uh, 8. Paste it here. So make sure that you are not using RM command when you are installing and running the container. Otherwise once you will stop, it will not allow you to start because container itself will get removed. So I am detaching it and running in the port number 8080. So it will first pull the image and then it will install the container and it will start the container. It will take few seconds. We are done with that 8080 and uh, now I am just clearing it. Docker PS PS minus A. So thing is like that it's running in 8080 port so I will access it 8080 So you can see like that it's not running we are not able to access the tomcat however the container is running successfully so we will go to our security group and uh, we will add it and we will add the rule 8080 that is fine we will go with the anywhere now I will again try. So Tomcat is already installed here. So you observed like that we earlier did that uh, 80 port and here it's in the security group it was not required to open the 80 because default it is already opened in the EC2. And uh, now we will go ahead with the port tenor installation. So you can just go ahead here you can click on the installation. and uh, command is listed here so this is the command so already it is there in my notepad so I will use from here I have not modified anything so here in this command you can see that we are going ahead with the 9000 default port and we have done the, some ma mapping however it is not required but um, I will tell you later on in the later in the different video that why it is required and what is the useful uh, how we can utilize for some other purpose so I'm just running it it will first pull the image and it has been started so docker ps minus a so you can see like that three containers are running in the docker now we will try to open it but 
we can't open because 80 port sorry 9000 port is not open so i will just edit it i will add the 9000 port here anywhere save and i'm going ahead with the 9000 port support so error we are able to access um, through the um, browser and it will ask us first for that uh, admin credentials so we will uh, we will provide the credentials yeah here so new password i am just going with uh, admin 1234 admin 1234 create user it's done uh, no need to save it and I will go with the local first remote I will explain into the different video so here it is already saying you like that you must have to this entry when you are starting I will do the connect and here you can see that three containers are running I will just go ahead inside the containers so you can see that all containers are up nginx we can see it here from here you can stop it so it is stopped I cannot access it again. I will just use this IP address. It's running in 80, so I no need to explicitly give the 80 port. Still, it is running. Let me check what is the issue. Give me one second. Yeah, so basically, it was taking it from the casing, but if you will open a new tab in the incognito, here you can see I'm not able to open it. Okay so yeah so here you can see and same thing you can do with the tomcat here you can stop it and uh, you will try to access it you will not be able to access now i will start the tomcat start it and uh, here i will be able to access the 80 report and uh, tomcat is running properly you can go ahead here you can see the logs and uh, you can go ahead with more log contents so i'm just going with the 1000 you can copy it you can check it into the notepad here you can find about the jre versions what it is using yeah open jdk it is using so this is all about that portainer and uh, you can go ahead here and you can find the blog and support and if any problem you are facing you can post in this um, video you can post it in the comment section and I will try to answer it this is all about the portainer there are the many more things are here but it is just I'm trying to cover into the short video and uh, I used since a long time so I'm so sure like that you will also like uh, Portana. and uh, that's all about this if you are liking this uh, video then please uh, click on the like button uh, thanks a lot guys